Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Thursday market webcast. Okay, uh, we did the wrap up yesterday at the close. Not much has changed. We got a lower band ride. We had a band ride, took a couple of days off right here and here, back down, grab the lower band. Right now, we're fighting over this purple line, uh, which is 42.88, 42.89. It's a 200 day exponential moving average on the daily chart. So, and the, the blue line here is the nine day. So the, the, the tape making a decision today, tomorrow, into jobs, into the weekend about what it wants to do, what it wants the 200 day exponential moving average to be is a pretty big deal. It's a, it's a large dividing line. If it wants to stay to the point where we got a two sided tape, the bulls have a point, you know, the whole thing, um, it probably holds a support. If it converts hard as resistance and goes down, then we are in a longer term sell rallies market. Not that we haven't been, but the 200 day is the real dividing line with regard to the, the, the general state of the market. So we're fighting over that right now. So that's important, obviously. Hourly chart, 35 half in the Europe session. They put in a low uh, yesterday morning. And, and they took it back up. We've talked about bounces. You can be long the bounces. You can stand aside on the bounces. Don't fight the bounces. Don't fight these bounces short. They will steal your lunch money. And then by the time the thing is, you know, pretty much ready to go down, your, your brain is jello. Your account has taken a bunch of hits. And it's because you got very ideological during this ramp and not very practical. So what did they do overnight? They took it down right to the daily pivot, right around 5 a.m., and we're back to fighting over 4,300. So, you know, you got you got the 88 area, which you just talked about, which is important. 4,300 is always important. The nine days up here, and the nine days been resistance. It was tested uh, back on Tuesday, and it was resistance. It was tested back on Monday, it was resistance. Friday, it was resistance. Did we go back up and give it another look? Yes. Um, when we get there, when we get there, the bears are going to have to perform up there again, which is interesting considering for three days in a row they held it there. Uh, in a market that is really strong to the downside, we should not be back. We should not go back. Um, so a test of the nine day and the weekly pivot up there at 4330, certainly not out of the question over the course of the rest of the week, especially depending on how jobs turns out. If the bears can defend those two areas throughout the rest of the week into next week, um, that would be another signal that, I mean, this tape's just heavy. These rallies are happening, they're being sold, which is fine. Don't, you know, don't fight the rallies and you'll be okay. Take your profits. Uh, you know you can let some things run, but once they stop working out, you've really got to you really got to think about you know heading in the other direction. Yesterday morning was pretty whippy and choppy. I mean there were five, six, seven, eight handle whipbacks, and it's hard to it's hard to sustain position in in those kind of conditions. And when it when it's doing that stuff, don't over trade it. You got to trade a lot less. That was what the subscriber webcast was about last night which is you know, basically the, 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 the notion that not every kind of tape is for every kind of trader. And I'll say this to all of you out in the world, if, if there's a type of day that doesn't speak to you as a trader, there's no rule out there that says, hey, if you don't, if you don't get your, your, your ass into work and sit down and bang that square peg into that round hole again as much as you possibly can, well, then you're just not working hard enough. That's the stupidest shit ever, okay? There are square pegs into round holes in everybody's trading repertoire. The key is, and the key to survival, and the key to success is saying, okay, there's that round hole. I got my square peg. You know what? Not today. Not today. When I show up tomorrow and there's a square hole for my square peg, now we're ready to get to work. And identifying those areas is important as a trader. And that's, that's the kind of stuff that, that I like to work on with people. Um, all right. 
other levels and I'll, I'll get you out of here. Um, volume weighted average price at 42.90, which is basically the hourly mid band. Just underneath is Madonna, 42.88. Uh, Globex highs 43.02. We traded right down to, you know, that 77s. The daily pivots down there at 76.75. I would imagine 88 to 92 is going to get fought over pretty good um, into the open, and I wouldn't be surprised if we got stuck between that area and 4300 mm, for the balance of the morning until it makes up its mind. Just don't overtrade it. Make it do something and then trade that. All right. Everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe. Be healthy. Take care. Trade them well. Uh, no closing wrap up today. I will not be in the office. Uh, I will be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Subscribers, there'll be an evening webcast tonight. Take care. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.